I think uh, there's one point which I do believe is the era of very very low interest rates, near zero interest rates, which we saw for a while, um, and genuinely lower rates even before COVID. I think that era seems to be behind us now. Whether the sustainable rate, um, and I'm using the uh, U.S. rates. Uh, whether the Fed rate is going to be sustainably at 4%, 4.5%, but it's not zero. So we are in a world where there is going to be price for money and money is not going to be available as most people thought about it. And therefore, from an Indian point of view, I think uh, we have to assume, uh, give or take uh, the current uh, uh, next year, of course, the question is when interest rates come down. But we we got to be clear that even if in Indian inflation is to sustainably around 4%, which is the target of our system, a interest rate regime of repo rates between 5 and 6% at least is looking the foreseeable future on the lower side. Of course, if there are surprises, current rate of course is 6.5, who knows, it could be higher. But if I don't think businesses should be really planning on the basis that the base Reserve Bank repo rate is going to be below 5% in the foreseeable future or the next few years in terms of your planning from the current six and a half and on the higher side subject to what happens. I think the key issue for India is I think 100, 200 basis points in rates is something we have to take it in our stride as the volatility. The key issue for India is uh, capacity. And I think Chandra alluded to this. How are we going to create capacity? And Indian mindset historically has been oh, let's do with a two lane road when the requirement probably was four lane and we should have been building six lanes. So we end up building subpar capacity in many of our how are we going to create capacity at scale? And we have, I'm glad we are growing at seven percent this year based on the estimates. So most people believe six to seven percent is the growth rate which is what we can sustain. But what India needs is nine percent. And if we compound at 9% for the next 25 years, we'll be a 30 plus trillion economy. And we forget a very simple point that we have a big denominator in terms of population. Despite us being the fifth largest economy in the world, our per capita is two and a half thousand dollars. And we have much more. How do we get, if we grow at 9%, only then we will get over the next 20, 25 years, uh, average Indians uh, per capita being $15,000. And that's what we should aim at. Then along with that, how do we create a true equitable structure which enables this $15,000 per capita really benefiting the vast number of Indians? That's the Indian aspect. So India has to build capacity. India has to build sustainability. India has got to make sure that uh, we have wonderful cities, clean environment, uh, everything works. And we will have to focus on things which are not very often popular to talk about. We have to internalize, of course, be proud of what we are good at, but deeply internalize things we got to get better.